Organised Chaos is an innovative project designed and developed by the University of Manchester's Science and Engineering Education Research and Innovation Hub in partnership with the Interdisciplinary Centre for Ancient Life and the Ideas Foundation. It explores how scientists work at the Diamond Light Source facility. A grant was gratefully received from the Science and Technologies Facilities Council. There you go, Mike. Linden's very kind of prepared a game where everything's to do with diamonds, uh, light source sort of thing. So uh, just to get us, I think, thinking about what maybe what we might find when we get there. So Diamond is a national synchrotron science facility. It functions like a series of giant microscopes and we use a very bright light, 10 billion times brighter than the sun, to look at the atomic structure of matter. And that's really useful for things like developing new medicines, new materials, new technology. You can look at almost anything using Diamond. Manchester, about five years ago, um, put in uh, a lot of money to pay for half a beam line here at Diamond. I think before I came here I expected a lot of like very clinical uh, environments and people wearing white coats with fuzzy hair and, and that kind of thing I guess. Some scientists from all around the UK and the world come and visit. People from universities like Manchester use that light to look at the atomic structure of matter. And that's really useful if you're looking at things like designing new medicines, smart materials, new technology, basically anything. I think I expected more noise and a bit more chaos and hustle and bustle. People running around and didn't get that at all. Um, it felt really quite calm in there and quite quiet. A little eerie, particularly with the lighting on when we were stood at the top um, on the concrete. Um, I expect it to be a lot smaller and more um, shut in, you know, like there's not much room to walk around. They told us a lot about what goes on, I had no idea really beforehand and they do loads of experiments and they also explained some of the physics behind like the electron scattering, the neutron scattering and told us a lot about the public engagement and how you can get involved. So Organised Chaos has been a really exciting project. It's allowed us to do quite a number of things. It's allowed us to get to know Phil Manning and his team in ICAL a lot more. Uh, it's allowed us to develop a relationship with the Diamond Manchester collaboration team and Peter Lee. Um, and to look and interact with people here at Diamond to sort of explore how we can better get uh, primary teachers understanding what happens here and pupils in particular uh, really engaging with uh, what happens at the Diamond Light Source facility. I sort of expected what it was really, such a big place um, with lots of people working there. I did want to see a little bit more lab coats. Uh, but I think scientists at Diamond, they have to do a lot, we were talking, they have to do a lot of work before they come here, which I didn't really realise. Or I thought you might really start and then work out what you're going to do when you're here, then go, but they just sort of use the um, use the synchrotron while they're here and then work out all the data later. As far as I'm concerned, a scientist is anyone who asks a question. So any, all children are scientists because they stand there and they go, why is, the, why is the sky blue? Why does a bird fly? Why do the trees lose, some trees lose leaves in winter? Um, I was thinking men in white coats with fuzzy hair and goggles and lots of over bubbling test tubes. A really important part of what we do here at Diamond is public engagement. So it's about allowing people to see what goes on here and be inspired by the facility. For teachers from Manchester to go back to Manchester with a snapshot of why do science and what it's got to do with the young people and the community is absolutely at the core of why we run projects such as Organised Chaos. It was really interesting to see how scientists use data and use the facilities. So I think the two things that came through to me were the idea of slicing through images and slicing through uh, materials to get a sense of what it's composed of. I think I still want to find out what part of the job will most inspire pupils to pursue science further. 
Um, I think something that's really surprised me is how many and how much engineering and maths are involved within the science and the experiments they're doing. I'd probably like to know more about one aspect of the science that they're covering in, in more, you know, in more depth. I'd like to know how many different countries work here um, and how many different organisations get involved. I think my biggest question that I've still got is, is what can they, how will it change in the future? And how we can then take it into the classroom. There's so many different types of scientists doing different types of things. And you can never be wrong in science, you learn from your mistakes. So the questions that reside with me are really about how we can forge a strong relationship with Diamond, with iCarl and other people that use this facility to really get the message out to specifically primary school teachers and primary school pupils and their communities about the science that happens here across all of the disciplines and how that relates to their lives with the hope that that can inspire and enthuse children into STEM careers and scientific careers of this kind. Scientists work at the Diamond Light Source facility. Ah, nearly got it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'll get over that in a minute. It's just... Organised chaos is a curriculum. Oh, start again. <laughs> this is my big moment. And publicity manager. Officer, let's try that again. <laughs>